here again. How are you all doing? This week's weight loss was £3, which I'm quite surprised at. As I said in my last video, I wasn't expecting to lose weight at all last week because with my son being home on leave from the army, um, we had meals out, we had takeaways, all sorts of things, and I'm really quite chuffed. Um, so it just goes to show that you can, even in those situations, make the choices, if you're careful, to try and limit any damage so that you can still live a life as normal. This coming week, though, may be a bit different. Um, Monday, I blew my calories out of the water. Um, I was travelling again. I was coming from the south of England. I was on the road about 13 hours in total. And when we, f we stopped to eat first in the morning, mid well, lunchtime, basically, just before 12 o'clock, um, the only thing that was available was Burger King. And I could have chose not to, but... I thought at the time, you know, I'm hungry, I have to eat, I've got a long way to drive, I can't do it on an empty stomach, um, and that's all that was in that, that service station, so um, I had a Burger King, didn't think much of it, I thought I'd just work it in, drove all the way home, didn't stop again till we got home about quarter to midnight, literally, <laughs> the only thing open in the whole town when we got home was McDonald's, so... <laughs> I probably should have had nothing, but I made the decision. I'm just going to have it. Um, it's I, I don't count it as binging as such. It was a conscious decision. I hadn't eaten for about 12 hours in between. I'd driven a long way. Midnight. I wasn't going to start cooking a meal at midnight. I decided to have McDonald's. But having done that, having two of that kind of meal in one day, I ended up a 1,000 calories over my my uh, total daily energy re uh, requirements so um we'll see what happens at the end of the week um usually saturday i weigh myself sometimes sunday depends usually saturday though and we'll see so the last few days i've just been trying to ease back into it, make sure i'm not over the calories be a bit stricter um I haven't sort of had a, a cut back on my normal. I haven't sort of slashed back to 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 make up the difference. Um, you read a lot of places they say you shouldn't do that. So um, we'll see what happens. But if I'm if I haven't lost any weight this week, then that'll be why. Anyway, the the thing I want to talk to this week, the title of the video, is I go on a lot in my videos about counting calories and how to work them out and oh, shouldn't have done that the little table's moving when I put it so I thought I'd show you how you do it and what I use what what you're looking for is this, what's known as a TDEE -E, your total daily energy expenditure and this is the amount of calories that you require to live there's a second rate which is lower than that called your basal rate of calories now your basal rate it's what your body requires, even when sleeping, just to breathe, just to keep your body warm, to circulate your blood, all the things that the function, the basic functions of of life. That's the the calories, the energy required to do that. The calories required is your basal rate. Your total daily energy expenditure is more than that. That's the calories required for moving about and doing your daily jo job and chores and what, you know, your everyday life. To lose weight, you have to consume less calories than your total daily energy expenditure requirements, your TDEE. And by doing that, if you knock 500 calories to 800 calories off that, your body will be forced to seek those calories because it needs those calories no matter what it requires those calories to to keep you moving to keep you active your body will be forced to metabolize the fat stored all around your body and put that into the blood system and use that for energy it takes the the fat it removes the the energy it needs and the byproducts, there's two byproducts. One is carbon dioxide, which you breathe out through your lungs, and the other 
is go through your kidneys and you pee it out when you go to the toilet. Um, a lot of people think it comes out the other way, out the back, but it doesn't. You actually pee it out, which is why another thing why you should drink lots of water because it helps flush all that out of your out of your body, out your kidneys. So anyway, I've got the wife's iPad here. Now, what I've done is I've just into Google and I've put T D E E calculator. And the very first one that comes up, I don't know if you can see that, the very first one that comes up is TDEE calculator.net. So is that gonna work? There we go. So this is what comes up with adverts, which we'll get rid of. Sorry about that. Just had to get rid of the pop up there. So here we see put on the camera, you can see. So we'll fill it out. So we'll put male, because I'm male, age. 37, weight is currently 483 pounds, I presume that's in pounds, imperial, yeah, height, I am 6 foot 2, now next one, activity, and you see there, gives you a pop-up menu, Sedentary office job, light exercise, moderate exercise, heavy exercise, or athlete. Well, I'm probably somewhere between sedentary and light exercise. So, to be on the safe side, I'm just going to put sedentary. Okay? And it has about the bottom, body fat percentage optional. I have no idea what my percentage of my body is body fat. Quite a lot, I should imagine. So anyway, press calculate. And there we go, there's what comes up. So it says, I should be having 3,823 calories a day and 26,759 calories a week. Now, at the bottom here, you can see that, it gives you your basal met metabolic rate, that's the basal rate calories I was talking about before. So 3,186 calories per day. And then it tells you the calories you need for each level of exercise Is that focused. There you go, each level of exercise that you require. Now, it says here your ideal weight is between 167 and 189 pounds. If I score down, see that there? Where is it? That's that's a bit of a grey area because that very much relies on your body type, your muscle mass, your bone density. I suspect when I was a lot slimmer, I was over 200 pounds when I was quite fit and slim. So I'm never going to be 167. So that's not entirely accurate. And, and therefore, the BMI score which it said is 62, which is obviously morbidly obese, is also, you have to take that with a pinch of salt. There, are, there will be people out there, the perfect average person who has the average muscle density, the average bone density, the average muscle coverage, the average build, the average everything else, and yes, they will fit into this BMI score, and that's who it's for. For most people, it isn't going to be like that. Even when I was very slim when I was younger, I was still quite very heavily built, very muscular, so, and I've, I have done an in, you know heavy engineering job most of my life. I'm not going to ever be 167 pounds, or 180, well, between 167 and 189. 189, yeah, I'm probably getting closer to it there. Um, I expect to be somewhere around the 200 pound mark when I'm, when I'm done. Long way to go. So as you see, what that has basically done there is this is you this is the calories you require based on the Miffin Saint Jour formula, which is widely known to be the most accurate. The table below shows the difference if you were to have a selected different activity level. Based on your stats, the best estimate for your maintenance calories is three thousand eight hundred and twenty-three calories. So this number 
the 3823 for me is my maintenance level. If I eat that every day, I will stay the same weight forever. Obviously, I don't want to do that. So, I have to reduce that. Now, they say, you can read it in various places, if you lose about 500 calories a day, you'll lose between one and two pounds a week, supposed to be. That's not accounting for water weight and all the rest of it, and you know, the ins and outs of it. You want to be taking 500 to 800 calories off that every day. And when you've taken that 500 to 800 calories off that every day, if you stick to it, you will lose weight. Now, the catch is, as you lose weight, that number of calories that's there on that app will reduce. Because that, as we've seen from this, if we go back to the top, well, I can't, I'll go back to the page before. That's for when you put in these specific stat statistics. If I was to say, just for a bit of fun, change my weight to 200 pounds and calculate, it says I need 2,282 calories to maintain my weight. So, as you see, as your weight falls, you must recalculate this, maybe monthly, maybe every couple of months, it has you must recalculate that otherwise as your weight falls you're going to, you're going to end up in what people think of as a plateau but a plateau is actually their weight has fallen below the calorie has fallen below the calorie requirement that they're eating so that they're, they're actually eating more than they need and therefore maintaining weight or putting weight back on because they haven't readjusted or recalculated their total daily energy expenditure requirements as they drop. Anyway, I hope that helps. Um, I know that people have asked in comments a couple of times, and I've commented on other people's posts where they've sort of, you know, people that have been three, four hundred, five hundred pounds, and they're saying, oh, I'm going to eat twelve hundred calories a day. Well, no. Just because you've seen on television in some program where they say, oh, you should be on a twelve hundred calorie diet, that that isn't a universal number. You you can't you you must work out for you and your body type and your height and your weight and your exercise levels then that's the level that you want to be at just because somebody on the telly has been or the, you know or you've seen on the internet has said oh i'm having 1400 calories a day or i'm having 1200 calories a day that's not you you must work out your calorie requirements that you individually need and as I say, I've commented on people's posts before and stuff where people have said, oh, I'm going to have 1,200 calories a day. And you say, well, that's far too little for you. And as, and as I've already stated, as you lose weight, you have to reduce that number. If your body is used to you eating 1,200 calories and you're losing weight, where is you, where are, you're not leaving yourself enough calories to reduce it in the future. And therefore, you'll end up starving yourself. That will ruin your, meta, your metabolism and you can cause yourself all sorts of bother. Anyway, I hope that's been helpful, and um, I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks. Bye.